Hi, welcome back to another tutorial on COCAD. In this tutorial, we will focus on two other kind of uh, searches in COCAD, namely search for word or phrases by part of speech. And the second one is uh, searching for word form or phrases using wildcard. Wildcard is a symbol that you can use to replace or represent one or more characters. Okay. Um, the part of speech search um, is useful, especially when you know you want to search for a word in certain part of speech, in certain word classes, and as well as in certain inflectional form. Um, later on, with the wildcard uh, search, usually it is represented using asterisk, the star symbol. I will show you how you can use that for morphological search as well as searching for phrases. <clears throat> and in this tutorial, I will also show you how we can combine a simple search using exact word form, as well as lemma that we have learned in the previous tutorial, and combine it with the part of speech as well as the uh, wildcard search to help us to find phrases. <clears throat> okay, so I assume you already have an account login and we will start with the list and chart features still for the coca features and if you click on the list uh, function click on that and for the part of speech information uh, you can find in the help box if we click on the part of speech coca provide you with uh, four different ways for you to specify a part of speech you can use this kind of symbol this is the original one that coca has um, and then the new one is you can type in the name of the part of speech such as noun it's a common noun in general name it, which means a proper nouns or you can use this kind of symbol okay um, I will show you how you can do that um, imagine uh, let's go to the uh, list feature imagine you want to <clears throat> search for um, frequency of a lemma uh, or a like sims such as message um, as a verb because we know words such as message yeah can occur as a verb as well as a noun and another example is study yeah study uh, a word that can occur as noun as well as a verb this is my study and i study english okay and the part of speech feature allows us to specify that uh, those uh, word classes okay um, imagine we want to search for the um, lemma message okay um, but only as a verb now uh, you may wonder how can i remember all of this symbol and these characters and so on well um, Coca is quite helpful. Um, it gives you this uh, button here, the pause button. You click on that and you can click on insert pause. You can browse through all of the available uh, part of speech tag or parts of speech label that you can use just by clicking. So if you want to search for the verbal uh, word class or part of speech of message, we can select either verb all. Uh, which can capture all of this verb uh, tag. Okay, um, let's just do verb all. See, this is the symbol of uh, verb all part of speech. If we click find matching string, um, yeah. So there is. This is interesting. So in Coca, at least um, the verbal form with the lemma message occur as a past tense as well as in the ink form so you don't find um, the third person form of message okay that's at least for me that's surprising um all right so that's just a, a starter yeah that's just a start um let's see how uh what is the form of lemma message as a noun to do that we can just uh, click on here and select noun all or you can um, restrict using a plural noun or singular noun yeah i will go with noun all so potentially it will capture all of the plural as well as singular form of message let's see what it gives us yeah the, the singular message as well as the plural message okay um 
now so that's the list uh, feature let's see how it uh, plays out when we use the chart feature um, I'm interested in looking at um, how is the distribution of message as a verb yeah message as a verb across different genre of coca as well as the period in coca okay um, you may guess what I'm trying to look for here okay let's see message as a verb all right as usual uh, we just need to wait for this ad to show us the green uh, message for us to continue our search and yeah so hopefully you can follow along click here to continue with your search and there we go so this is the distribution of the lemma message yeah, the messaging and messages message as a past tense that we have seen in the list feature before across uh, genres as well as across period so we see that the verbal form of message occur most frequently in the blog as well as web section and magazine but not so frequent in tv and academic text and the most interesting part is this um, you see how uh, the you said frequency of message as a verb um, develop across period of time yeah across different periods in coca so there is a increasing trend yeah uh, the verbal use of message is on the rise from the 1990s to the present okay um, this could uh, be explained by the you know development of mobile phone where you usually say something like oh i messaged you last week but you didn't reply and so on yeah interesting um now let's see how it goes with the noun okay so we see in the period section how verbal yeah the the verb usage of message is on the rise and how about the noun yeah. um okay we can just delete this okay this is the noun uh part of speech for message let's see click see frequency by section um, so message as a noun is quite well um, still it is frequent in blog web and but not really in in magazine now but in the spoken language okay um, and in terms of the temporal progression um, it is quite stable okay message as a noun yeah it is already common from long time ago up until present but not the verbal message okay so that is the part of speech uh, search uh, simply you can just go to this pause and select any part of speech that uh, is your interest um, now uh, I will show you how you can use the so-called wildcard search okay so this is the symbol of wildcard Okay, uh, it represents any character, any letter. Okay, um, I've mentioned earlier that you can use wildcard to search for um, one of the examples is morphological search. Uh, let's say you want to find words, uh, word forms that uh, end with certain suffixes or that begin with certain strings. Um, let's go to the list so that we can see the type of words that follow that pattern uh, let's illustrate this with um, words any words that end with ness okay um, like sadness happiness yeah that's a kind of word that end with ness but let's see what coca gives us in the list okay fan matching string so this is this represent the wild card yeah okay um, ness yeah okay and this represents another string following the wildcard. Find matching string. Okay, business is the most frequent. Okay, um, 324,000 something. Followed by witness, awareness, darkness, illness, and so on. So, and nuts itself. I don't know what it is, but you can, if you click on here, you, you will be directed to a web page another page that show how it is used in context yeah but um well 
for our purpose we can see how it is quite um, fast for you to get different form of words that has ness at uh, at the end okay um you can say or set for something like um mini and then followed by another um wildcard so you want to search for the word that begins with the string mini followed by any other characters okay if you click find matching string so it goes with the with this result like minister minimum ministry minimal and if you see here mini it means that the the, the character of the the asterisk that we use here it will capture zero one or more any other character okay because our search term before mini plus the star and here it gives you just mini it means the star can capture either zero occurrence one or more occurrence of characters okay um yeah if you uh, look at here this is another example of how you can use a uh, wildcard yeah and for more information of various kind of search you can go to this information basic syntax where you can see how you use wildcard okay um yeah and this is example of part of speech all right um now i mentioned earlier that we can use a combination of part of speech search as well as a simple search to find phrases um, if you remember before also we learn how we can combine alternative search yeah multiple words in one go that's what i want to show you now how it is very flexible and versatile yeah useful the various kind of searching architecture in coca let's say i want to find uh um yeah this one the noun phrase okay it's a noun phrase um noun phrase that is uh, modified by either fast rapid or quick yeah any noun see the noun is represent you can use if you remember from this you can use the the word or you can use um the the tag okay like like this one i'm oh, sorry noun all okay you can use this you see there is a space in between yeah fast rapid quick and then white space and then followed by the noun tag so you want to find noun phrase with modifier fast or rapid or quick followed by another noun let's see what it gives us we are still in the list uh, function okay so fast food yeah rapid growth quick look okay fast track quick question and so on so you don't really say fast question yeah and this also this frequency also show you uh, which phrases are the most frequent yeah so the search pattern give you this uh, types okay different types of noun phrases with fast rapid or quick as the modifier and any kind of noun as well as the frequency the absolute frequency of these phrases okay um well that's a simple combination of simple search with exact word form and um, noun phrase okay um you can do search uh, for another uh, phrases such as conjunction um pronoun okay if you see here there is this conjunction okay conjunction plus pronouns um i want the form of um i want the form of the b verb yeah what is it to be okay i want a uh, phrases that has conjunction pronoun and followed by form of b okay i think that's too much space followed by the word like followed by space followed by comma you may guess this could uh, give you something like and i was like and she was like and so on okay um let's see in the list uh feature will it give us something yeah and i was like don't know what to say and i'm like 
scare and so on. So this is kind of um, hedging, okay? Um, and it was like, yeah. But it's interesting is that it is most frequently occurring as a past tense, and I was like, followed by the present tense, and I'm like, okay. Um, are you curious with the chart? Okay, I want to see how it plays out. Yeah, how does this syntactic contraction like? And I was like, uh, and other kind of uh, types with this structure uh, is distributed across the uh, section. All right, so see, um, this is interesting. So that kind of syntactic pattern uh, most frequently occur in the spoken language makes sense. Um, you do it a lot. Yeah, it's like when you hesitate, I just did that. Um, you, you did that you do that a lot in in spoken TV subtitle and spoken uh, section but not in the blog web mostly because they are in written form of course not in fiction and definitely not in academic yeah. and if we see the period here that kind of pattern is also on the rise yeah so people now are getting uh, more and more frequently expressed, hesitation using like I and I was like and so on okay it's interesting stuff all right um so what I've shown you here is the combination of part of speech so um another part of speech so simple word and punctuation yeah, you can use for you can search for punctuation um okay um yeah other one other example is um searching for a uh, combination of simple search as well as wildcard i haven't shown you how you can use wildcard to represent the whole word okay let's go to the list feature yeah um, i just want to go to the list feature and find the types of phrases that begin with a sort of and any other word okay so this search will find phrases that has a sort of followed by another word yeah so in this uh search the wildcard symbol represent any word okay let's see i hope there is no add message here okay you've got the add message so the idea of this part of speed search is that you can and then the simple search that i've shown you before you can combine them to find any kind of phrases or syntactic pattern that you are interested in okay right let's see sort of a uh, sort of uh yeah sort of there is um this is kind of indefinite uh, noun yeah followed by a uh, quote um and comma so it's like hesitation yeah um, when you click on this, you can be directed to the full context of these phrases, okay? This is the so-called keyword in context uh, feature, okay, of COCA that we will see and explore further later on. Let's go back to the search. Um, now, let's change the indefinite article with the terminal the. Um, let's see what it gives us. Okay, so you have a more clear uh, noun after the of, but not with the a uh, sort of before, okay? When you have this definite um, terminal here, the sort of thing, the sort of person, the sort of man that I know, and so on. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so wildcard search part of speech search and a combination of part of speech um, wildcard simple search as, and the lemma search as well i've uh, demonstrated okay um i hope you can follow along and i have put some exercises in coca uh, in oasa for you to do um so please email me if you have question and i hope you have a good day see you soon